and welcome my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing three looks three palettes I'm using the kaleidoscope the oh, I want to say kaleidos futurist collection to create three different looks today I opted to combine all three because I, don't, I just I don't really like them on their own you can create like some nice looks together but the pack is $59 and I believe they're still doing free shipping if you spend $59 which is pretty reasonable really for the shadows I don't really like doing swatches because I, I just suck at them and there's heaps of videos out there about these and there's lots of different approaches people have taken with doing the looks. I am late to the game with this video but I hope you enjoy and I hope you enjoy seeing my looks and I'll share my thoughts at the end. Amy, thank you so much. Here's the first look. Alright so we're hopping into MAC Soft Ochre, the paint pot, laying that down and then going into this brown and I'm just putting this in my crease and blending it out as you can like see blendy blend then using this lovely purple I'm gonna put that into the crease as well and my hope is just to build on the dimension of the color and really lift it up I think it kind of worked you can see I've got that little patchiness that sort of happens with the loose skin in my inner part of my eye I kind of fix it later but sometimes it's a bit too hard this is this beautiful green shimmer that I decided to lay down. I haven't spritzed it and it's just going straight on like that. I did go a little bit with my finger but I think it came out pretty well. It's very opaque shimmer and I'm just trying to blend it in a little bit. Then going into this silver and I'm putting this in the middle. This is a bit of an attempt at a halo eye. I, I don't know. I like it and I don't at the same time. So I've gone back to that purple and I'm just trying to blend out that part. And I'll hopefully fix that middle part a little bit. I didn't really, did I? I'm just putting that purple underneath my eye. Just bringing it around and sort of building on the depth in the outer corner. And then moving into this lovely silver from the Cyber Bronze palette. And we're just going that on my inner corner. And it's got a really good bang. The shimmers are amazing, really. Using Colourpop's Kicker Eyeliner, I'm putting this on my waterline. I do love a shimmery eyeliner there sometimes I thought I'd pull out the TARDIS lash paint I didn't even know I had this to be honest but it did a pretty good job I reckon and here is the final sort of look mm, like I like it but I think I just sort of failed with the halo eye and this is my like mm -mm, no I'm coming back I'm going back in with that green sort of was it like a green gold shimmer and we're just going to dab this all on my finger because at this stage I'm like, oh, let's just be done. And yeah, I think that looks a lot more streamlined. All right, on to look number two. And we're back at the Make MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And I'm just blending that onto my eye as a nice base. And then we're going into the greens today. So I'm putting that in my crease, blending it out, using my Sony G brush today, which I do love. I really think they're worth trying. I mean, they are expensive brushes, but they do a good job. And I'm loving the look of that ColourPop Over the Moon Heart Super Shock. I actually had to throw it out after this use, which I'm a bit sad about still. It was just getting a bit old. Anyway, going back into that purple, and I'm not 100% sure what I was trying to do here. Well, I kind of know what I was. Anyway, we're going to do the black. I'm just trying to deepen it up and blend this out this is a beautiful black for an eyeshadow it blends beautifully it doesn't go too patchy it's nice i'm a bit of a fan anyway um where do we go with this crease thing i'm going on so we're blending the black into the crease now are we getting rid of the green oh onto the blue shimmers all right we're packing that on pack 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 and it's looking a bit mm, there's such a duochrome to these it's hard to pick up and this is that silver or like it's a pink silver isn't it and I'm just putting that in on my inner corner and we're using my NYX faux white in linen today and I do just love these liners I think I feel like I use them in every video lately and benefit bad girl bang I think this is the first time I used it in it uh, this is Annette's favorite mascara so I finally bought the full size and I've got to say I do love it <laughs> Here we are, the final look. Why did I put green in my crease? All right, yeah, we've gone in with that purple and we are blending that out. All right, yeah, this this is improved, I think. Yeah, that's nice. 
What is this? <laughs> that blue is pretty. All right, on to the final look. Hello, Mac Paint Pot. Laying this dish down. We're gonna blend it, blendy, blend, blend. In then we're going in with this brown. I'm, I kind of forced myself to use cyber bronze, and I thought we'd change which eye I was looking at. Um, I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have an eye preference. We're going in with this green. <sighs> to be honest, I do use both of them in this look, and you will see the greens look the same on the eye. I think. Now let me know if you can see a variance though. So we're going on with the darker green. And I thought I'd put some depth on the outer eye. Yeah, kind of worked. Um, and then for some reason I went Christmas. Yes. I mean, I don't mind. That red shimmer does have a nice pack of color to it. But this is definitely a Christmas look. I feel like it's inspired by tinsel. And then uh, this is the silver shimmer that I think I ended up liking more than the other one. Just because a bit of a duochrome to it. And back to Colourpop Kicker. Uh, I just got really into matching my inner corner with my waterline. I think in the middle of filming this video. Bally or bang, she's back. I'm just playing and playing and I'm enjoying. And here is the final look. I reckon, yeah. Alright, well I'm going to go back to Prue. So when I ordered them with the initial release, it was sent out the next day, which is pretty awesome. And then it took two weeks to get to me. I live in a city area. So I live in what's considered Brisbane inner city, inner city. So it could be a bit longer if you're a bit more rural or regional. But two weeks is not too bad. They came from China. That's way... And free shipping. I, I have no complaints. If I was to buy them again, I really had no interest in the Cyber Bronze palette. But I do really love that red shimmer and I loved I loved it when Annette did her red shimmer look with it and the silver in this is really beautiful the browns are nice it's a good palette it's just not shades that I'm naturally drawn to whereas sci-fi green and astro pink are much more my jam and I do love the look of the deep sea luster because palette I definitely am going to keep an eye on this brand because I've really loved these shadows and I've loved the way that they've performed I do love the unique packaging style that they've got and they were just so nicely protected when they were on their way to me. But a lot of the shades are maybe a bit similar. So, you know, they only needed one of these greens. And this one, they only really needed one of these browns. And they only really needed one of these shades. So there is about three shades that I would have liked to have seen be a different colour. But they are nice and they do work well. So I'm not really complaining that much. But I think... As a collection, they are more cohesive and usable rather than using them separately. It's just my preference though. But maybe one particular palette is calling to you and that's what you want to buy. I think definitely go for it. These are beautiful shadows and I've really enjoyed working with them. So ultimately, I really love these shadows. I'm sorry it was a bit of a just smoky eye looks. As you saw in the first look, I just kind of really failed at doing a halo. And they kind of just put me off doing another one. Let me know if you got the Cloudus collection and what you thought of it. I would love to know. Thank you so much for being here. Mwah. Um, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.